Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel, Softface Circle, where different people contribute and share uh, their knowledge about different technology stacks and different uh, technology. And uh, my name is Balram Prasad and I am working with uh, Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in previous video, I was talking about uh, virtual machine. Today I am going to install web server on that virtual machine and I am going to configure the web server on that one. So what is a web server, right? So web server is server software. If we go with by the definition of Wikipedia, which can run on single and multiple server to certify the client HTTP request. What, what is the client HTTP request? When in, in general term, when we go to any browser, either Chrome or Firefox or Edge, and we type any browser, um, site name, uh, that request has to go to somewhere in some server, and some server in some application process that request, and you get the re uh, response, right? So that software which is running on that particular server, that is that is a kind of web server, and there we host our uh, our application on that web server uh, it, it it will be in terms of HTML files or image files style sheet or 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 nowadays a lot of different files we support in uh, that web server that will be hosted over there some static content which we talked about that HTML and, and image there will be some dynamic content in terms of scripting like asp.net and other things and that will be compiled and that will be delivered based on us right on the fly so uh, if we go in uh, in modular definition of that web server so it says that um, the term web server can refer to a hardware or software both working together right on a hardware side a web server is computer that store a web server software and a website uh, component files like example html document css style sheet javascript right a web server connects to internet because it has to connect uh, to internet to satisfy anything right uh, whatever request we are going and whatever response we are getting that that uh, the software has a uh, server has to connect to internet and we have also has to connect to internet for that one or maybe in private network which if uh, we are on the private network but some sort of network there should be there and uh, the second topic in, uh, in Mozilla, they say that on the server side, a web server includes several parts, right? How control uh, user access hosted on the file, minimum HTTP server, HTTP server is software, understands the URL uh, and HTTP protocol. It knows that how to, what is the HTTP protocol and how to handle that one. So that, that all it, it refers to web server, right? So web server, if you see that um, user browser, I talked about user browser sends the request in HTTP form and it gets the response and then browser displays everything, right? Some part of rendering and other things browser does, some part of dynamic content generation and aesthetic content sending by done by the web server. Uh, there are multiple many concepts that um, yeah, we can use uh, content delivery network and other things that that is we can talk later, but yeah, this is the static web server and dynamic web server we talked about there. Are, in a static server, there is basically um, yes, images in HTML, but in dynamic, um, that application server hosts dynamic data like uh, using the, some kind of scripting mechanism. So, right, uh, in deeper dive, if say a hosting file, we can host and that some, some uh, server web server should be able to communicate through HTTP, right? It, so that that basically it says about uh, dynamic content, static content. What what are the uh, different between uh, that one? So what are the different uh, top web server which we uh, see and which we use generally? So if you go in Wikipedia and see that one, that uh, in uh, in market uh, Apache is there. Uh, Apache has one HTTP server, and then NGIX is there. Cloudflare is there. Light speed web server is there, IAS is there, uh, IAS is from Microsoft and Apache is a, a open source project, uh, so that, that is there. And the node.js is also present over there. 
so these are the major player in that uh, web server uh, providing the web server but if you go a detail down in the uh, this um, aesthetics of that web server uh, you can see that apache is leading uh, from with the 34.5% uh, and then ngix is there light speed microsoft ias is there and the rest of, we can see that uh, tomcat is also there and then a, a different version of apache traffic server is also there and uh, there are many more than that one right if you see that one jt server is there ibm servers are there right sto server a lot of uh, web servers are there but basically if you go with apache mainly and is so right now i'm going and try to configure that uh, uh, apache on the virtual machine which i created in a previous video so if you have not seen that one then i have created a virtual machine in microsoft azure and then i'm going to connect with that virtual machine and configure and install that is on that one so let's try to connect that virtual machine So this, you know that I have saved last time password and created that one. So I'm just trying to connect with that one. So, okay. So this is the VM which we created um, in previous video. Go ahead and if you have not watched that one, then go ahead and watch that video. So let's see. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, this is the uh, server. So if you see it here, right now in this server, there is no uh, web server is installed. So I'm going to install that one and then we can see that one that um, how we can do all these things. So if you go and see, try that one. So very first thing that I'm going to uh, disable one of the configuration. Uh, this we should not disable on IA server, but because I am browsing that one and trying to check something, I'm disabling that one but uh, once you do that one uh, or we do that one we generally enable that one so i am going that one let's see so i am going to server manager and server manager is where we go ahead and manage our server and uh, windows world so if we go to local server and this is my local server on that machine so I am going to disable this IE enhanced um, security configuration because I do not want to the pop up and configuration that which is the secure site or right? not. So I am disabling that one for time being. Okay, and then I will enable back. So now if I go and type, so it is not going. Basically, we do not have anything installed, which is um, uh, listening on port number S eighty, right? So I'm going to install that one. So for installation of that uh, um, uh, Internet Information Service IES on this server, uh, we have to go and enable role. So let's see, go to dashboard, click on add role and feature. Okay, this is uh, that information. And now we have to select that role based. So we are going to install the web server uh, role that one so it will become a this is right now server so we have not installed so let's let's select this is the server name or pull up server we talk as they talked about that we can select pull up server also but yeah so these are the roles server roles either this machine we can configure for this many uh, things right this can act as a dscp server this can act as a dns server this can act on the hyper b and other things but i am going to install this web server that is ias right now so I'm going to say next and then I'm going to install this all the .NET features over there .NET 4.6, ASP.NET, WCF, all these WCF features where uh, by default everything will be there. Okay, so WCF and then let's see .NET 4.5 is installed. I'm not going to install telnet and other things on this server right now. So, okay, let's go in next. Next. Now it is saying that uh, um, you selected web server, but what are the different component inside web server you want to install? So I can go and install a few more things in the internal. 
okay let me select this all okay so i this management service i can manage this ies from remote machine also that is why that is there but uh, basically yeah this all things we need and then i can mark that one install let's see let me install that one <coughs> So now uh, this server we are installing that IS uh, role over there and whatever file and whatever configuration is needed for IS it will start and install on this, this machine. So we have to wait few minutes. Uh, let's wait for that one. Okay, so it says that installation succeeded on this server. So I will go ahead and close this one. Okay, so this IS uh, node we can see now on this machine after this successful installation of IS. I will go ahead and then I will select this one and click on that IS manager. I will say. So this is the um, place where we go and manage that in IS server. So if we see that default website is right now up and it we can browse on port number 80. Right, whatever default page, default configuration is there. Let's see, let's give it a try over there. Yeah, so this is coming. Previously, if you remember, we tried to open this local host and it was not coming. So right now we can see that one. So let's give you one more try for different thing, right? If I go ahead and then this, this is a public IP. If you remember from previous video, this uh, IP, if you see an RDP, uh, that is public IP, right? So I should be access, um, access this page, at least this uh, welcome page, I should see from my machine also, not from inside that uh, machine. So let's go and try that to open this one. And let me note down this one. Uh, that what is that? 13.6, 8.15. Right? This is the IP. So if I go and browse saying that HTTP and this one, I should be able to see because this, this is the HTTP request that will go to this server because that server, uh, this IP is mapped to that server. And by default, we have used HTTP um, protocol. So it should go on port number 80, right? Let's see if uh, we are able to see that one or not. So right now it is saying that we are not able to reach on this machine. Why so? Because uh, when we created that one uh, and uh, this system and we configured that uh, our uh, NSG network security group and we said that we can go ahead and open ports. We open only one port which is RDP where we are connecting with RDP, right? So now I have to go ahead and say that I want to open my port number 80 also so I have to say that I have to add this inbound rule and I have to say that okay um, I'm going to port number I want to use this uh, service port number my, my, this HTTP and whatever priority you want to give give that one let's see so now I am creating this sort of energy and I am trying to open my port number 80 on that server so let's see if that uh, works or not so it says that it created this one. So port number HTTP it is there. Now let's try to rephrase this one, what happens. So now if you see this one, we are able to see that welcome page. But just remember that it is not secure because we have not configured HTTPS, right? A secured socket layer SSL we have not configured. And we should host only on SSL because that is the basic requirement we should have. Uh, but yeah. Uh, our web server is configured and we should we are able to see uh, the welcome page of IS over here. So let, let me quickly go to this server and if so uh, let, let me deploy a simple HTML on that page that default website. So I am exploring this one. So there here is that root location for uh, this website, right? We can have multiple website created. Uh, and if we go ahead and say that, hey, my server name is, uh, my site name is Softwiz and uh, Softwiz and then uh, what is the physical path? So I can give that any physical path where I want to host that one. 
uh, this server uh, this one so i can go and select that one different path also and then i can give that which port i this one run so you can host multiple webs uh, site over there but let it be default right now and let me create one quick uh, So basic, um, let me create one HTML. So I am going to say that this is index.html. I just created one static HTML and I have saved on the desktop and I am copying this one to this location. Okay, I copied this one. Now let's try to replace this one what happens, right? Welcome to our um, channel. So I just created one uh, plain uh, static HTML and I deployed over there and we can see that how web server is reacting over there and we are able to deploy a static content right we can deploy images reference that images if you want to go ahead and do that one basic HTML uh, thing uh, we all can do and then uh, if you want to host any um, ASP.NET pages react pages or angular pages you can do, use in this web server and deploy that one so that is what I wanted to share on this uh, video please tune in I am going to install a SQL server or SQL Express on that VM also so that we can see that how to install that one also okay uh, and please uh, paste in the comment that what technology or what type of video you want to like and you want to uh, see we will try to create that video by ourselves if we know that technology or we will try to find someone who are the expert on that technology so yeah thank you thank you very much